Okay, let's bang these out. There's six of them that we're going to do in this set on this video, but we'll do them fast. Um, when you have some angle and two sides, you're going to use your trig ratio. Of course, when, you, when I say you have the angle and two sides, what I mean is you're dealing with those three pieces of information. Always one's going to be missing that you're solving for. Okay, But we have this 40 degree angle. And from that 45, 40 degree angle, we're talking about the opposite and adjacent sides. Opposite and adjacent is tangent. So you write tangent of 40 degrees equals the opposite side 4 over the adjacent side x. Now, I've explained this a bunch of times in class. And it'd be really nice if I knew that you listened to that. And I can just tell you that if we isolated x, we do it in two steps. Multiply both sides by x, and it'll be over here. Then divide both sides by tangent of 40, and that'll end up where x is right now. Okay, So the short trick is to switch the position of these two values. And what you get then is x equals 4 over the tangent of 40. And that's actually something you can type in your calculator. 4, here's my calculator. 4 divided by tangent of 40 degrees. And I get 4.767, uh, or roughly 4.8. Okay. For this one, use a trig ratio. Oh, this is actually a special triangle. Um, and so let's see what we know about the special triangle. Uh, actually, no, let's just let's just calculate it straight away. It's fine. Um, because we're, we're kind of just practicing these um, to get decimal numbers, not weird uh, things with radicals in them. So let's just say, from this 30-degree angle, which two sides are we dealing with? We're dealing with the opposite side and the adjacent side. Okay. So which one uses opposite and adjacent? It's tangent. Tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, like that. And of course, multiplying both sides by 10, you see that those cancel out there. That's the point of it, leaving you just with x over here. And x is equal to 10 times the tangent of 30 degrees. So you can type that in your calculator, 10 times tangent of 30 degrees, close your parentheses, and you get 5.77, or if you're rounding it, 5.8. Let's keep going. Hopefully you're getting the hang of setting, how to set these up. OK. Find the value of x. Uh, we're dealing with a 32 degree angle. And from this 32 degree angle, which two sides are we talking about? We're talking about the adjacent right next to side and the hypotenuse. So adjacent and the hypotenuse, ka, cosine, ka, sokatoa, cosine of 32 equals the adjacent side, 12, over the hypotenuse, x. As I keep saying, there's this trick where if what you're trying to solve for is on the bottom of that ratio, you can switch that and that, and what you get is going to be an equivalent, but it'll have x isolated. x equals... 12 divided by cosine of 32. And oops, we can type that into the calculator. 12 divided by cosine of 32. And we get 14.15, or about 14.2. OK, let's keep going. Find the value of x. We're going to see which two sides we're dealing with here. From here, we're dealing with the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So cosine deals with adjacent and hypotenuse. Cosine of 36 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, x, 
over the hypotenuse, 10. And in this particular case, we don't need to actually do this swap it trick. We can just say um, the number we're looking for is not on the bottom. It's on the top. So all we have to do is multiply both sides by what is on the bottom. And that will cancel out. And you will get x is equal to 10 times the cosine of 36. Do it on your calculator. 10 times cosine 36. And you get 8.09 or roughly 8.1. All right, we're flying through these. Let's do another one. Again, you look at the angle you've got and you determine which two sides you've got so we can determine whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent. From the 20 degree angle, we're dealing with the opposite of that angle and the hypotenuse. So we say opposite and hypotenuse. So, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we say sine of 20 degrees equals the opposite side, 19, over the hypotenuse, x. And because what we're solving for is in the denominator, we'll do this swapping trick. Swap the position of those two. And what do we get then? We get x equals 19 divided by the sine of 20. And that's a calculatable thing. 19 divided by sine of 20. 55.55 or roughly 55.6. Nice. Uh, we're Okay, we're at the 23 degree angle. Which two sides are we dealing with from there? We're dealing with the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Sine of 23 equals the opposite side, x over the hypotenuse, 15. And because what we're solving for is not on the bottom, then we don't have to do the swapping trick. What we do is just say multiply both sides by 15. And those will cancel out, leaving x. That's the point of it. And we get 15 times sine of 23 degrees. We can type that in the calculator. 15 sine 23, 5.86, or 5.9 when you round it to the nearest tenth. Done. Not bad, right? This, it all begins to fall into place once you do some of them.